a complete guide to finding the perfect dog just for you. Dogs are the funniest, cutest, and friendliest ever. They're not called man's best friend for nothing, right? But with hundreds of breeds to choose from, which one would perfectly suit your lifestyle and needs? <laughs> Let's find out. But first, while you're searching for your perfect canine companion, guard dogs. A lot of people are looking not only for a friend, but also a faithful guardian in their dog. If you're one of those people and you want your pooch to look after your home, you should probably consider a Rottweiler, Doberman Pinscher, or German Shepherd. These breeds are natural guard dogs since they don't trust strangers that easily and they'll do a good job at protecting your house. Now, that doesn't mean they won't be funny or cute. Don't worry, they can easily do both. You probably won't find a good fit in retrievers, though. These dogs are usually way too friendly, so burglars would be welcome with a wagging tail and slobbery kisses. Number 11. Family-friendly dogs. If you have a big family full of kids or just welcomed a newborn into this world, it can seem challenging to pick the perfect dog breed. Of course, pretty much every dog loves children. But this would be a territory where a Labrador or Golden Retriever would be completely unbeatable. They just adore children and are always ready to play. Nothing makes them happier than fetching a ball. If their size intimidates you, consider getting a Beagle. A Pekingese may not be a good choice, though. They usually prefer to be the only child in the family. Number 10. Athletic dogs. If you lead an active lifestyle and love going for a daily jog, you probably wouldn't mind having a training buddy around, would you? Consider getting a pointer or a setter, since they're pretty much built for running. If you want something a bit smaller, a Jack Russell Terrier can be a good choice as well. It's not a good idea to get an English Bulldog or a Pug. They'll most probably struggle from overexercising. Steer clear of any large stocky breeds too. They may be too heavy, and their frequent running can damage their joints. Number 9. Lap Dogs What can be better than chilling out on the couch and watching some TV after a hard day's work? If you're looking for a furry cuddle buddy who will always be happy to laze around on the sofa with you, a French Bulldog or a Maltese is your perfect fit. They'll always be by your side, uh, or on your lap, whenever you're reading a nice book or watching your favorite TV show. Any working breeds are usually completely different. They require lots of exercise and activity, hence the name. Number 8. Dogs for busy singles A lot of people stop themselves from getting a dog because they're constantly out of the house. Of course, generally speaking, dogs are social animals. But still, some breeds deal with being home alone better than others. If this describes your lifestyle, think about getting a Sharpe or a Basset Hound. Retrievers and Collies, on the other hand, aren't a good fit for you because they like and require constant socializing. And don't forget that any dog needs love and attention. You shouldn't get one if you won't be able to spend at least some time with your buddy. Hmm, maybe you should get a cat. Most of the cats I know could care less if you're around or not, but that's just me. You haven't forgotten about the light bulbs, have you? <laughs> Keep looking. Number 7. Dogs for seniors. Freshmen and sophomores get their own breeds. <laughs> if you're retired and have decided to welcome a dog into your home, a good option for you would be a Boston Terrier, a Pug, or a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Boy, that's a name. They're affectionate and playful without requiring lots of exercise. Large dogs, however, can be a little tricky sometimes. They're mostly active and need a lot of attention and a sufficient amount of exercise. Number 6. Dogs for an apartment Now, if you're living in an apartment, there are certain dog breeds that will suit you a bit more than others. Surprisingly, the size doesn't always matter here. It's about the dog's temperament. If the dog is small, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be happy living in a smaller space. Consider getting a Yorkshire Terrier or a Bulldog. If you're interested in Chihuahuas, you might want to think twice here. These dogs are tiny, but very active. Number 5. Dogs for multi-pet households If you already have pets at home, getting another one is pretty challenging and potentially dangerous. You have to choose the breed carefully since you surely want all your pets to get along. Retrievers, Collies, and Spaniels are always happy to have company to play with. 
so they'll likely make a great match with your other pets. Terriers, or breeds typically used in dogfighting, can sometimes be a bit complicated. Without a doubt, they have beautiful personalities. But unfortunately, fighter dogs were bred to be aggressive and competitive. It's simply in their nature. Number 4. Dogs that do well in hot climates Most of us love summer, but not all dogs will agree. If you live in a place where it's hot most of the year, you should think carefully about which dog to get. Surprisingly, many short hair breeds would seriously struggle in a tropical climate, since tolerance to hot weather depends not only on the coat, but on the dog's facial structure and size as well. Most terriers can take the heat, and they come in lots of sizes. At the same time, St. Bernard's, Samoids, and Boxers won't feel good in hot weather. Number 3. Dogs that do well in cold climates If where you live is the complete opposite of the type of climate we just talked about, then your options, obviously, will be different. Breeds that prefer a colder climate normally have a thick double coat and more body fat. So, as you can probably guess, a good choice is a St. Bernard, Malamute, Husky, or Samoid. They feel right at home in cold temperatures. Dobermans, on the other hand, hate the cold! Number 2. Hypoallergenic dogs Now, if you're allergic to dog hair, you've probably sworn off the idea of ever owning a canine. But hold on there for a sec. Dander, which is attached to pet hair, is the most common cause of pet allergies. Schnauzers can be a good choice, since they're known for producing less dander than other breeds. Another good option is a poodle, and any of its designer crossbreeds like Labradoodles, Spoodles, and the list of GMO doggies goes on. Just know that your allergies may still act up from time to time, but overall, it won't be as bad as with the other breeds. German Shepherds aren't a good breed for you due to their dry skin, which results in a lot of dander buildup. The same goes for long-haired breeds as well. Or you can always get the dog you want and then just double down on the allergy medicine, like I did. Number 1. Dogs for a newbie Getting a dog for the first time ever is both exciting and nerve-wracking. There are so many breeds to choose from, and they're all so cute and adorable. If you're new to the dog-owning world, then a Labrador, Border Collie, or Poodle will be perfect for you. These breeds are very intelligent, relatively easy to train, and they're not stubborn. Schnauzers and Terriers require a bit more patience, though, but they're still great choices. The best thing to do is find a good shelter in your area. Make sure to mention you're a newbie so that they can find you the best fit. And next thing you know, you'll be coming home with a lucky dog that'll surely become your most loyal friend. Hey, here's my dog. Meet Riley. And here's Riley and his best friend, Olive the Cat. <laughs> they even sleep together. This, of course, breaks all kinds of rules in most of the world regarding pet fraternization. But hey, we just can't keep them apart. So, do you already have a dog, or are you considering getting one? Tell us in the comment section below. And have you already left a comment with the timestamps of our three well-hidden light bulbs? We hope so! Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you